this really pretty wreath on the door from TK Maxx this year. Uh, I really like the colours of that. And this door leads in to our living space. This is our dining room, which leads on into the kitchen. But I was really pleased with how this kind of turned out. Obviously we've got our fire in here and it's just so cozy in this room, especially in the autumn winter time, just to come in and have a roaring fire lit is just perfect. That'll look better, there we go. So I just have this tree down here, I just kept that natural sitting in a wicker basket. And then on my chair, I just have an old box or crate with some logs and a cushion in. And then up over our doorway here, I just have the green garland I've hung and I have got lights in that I'll turn them on in a little while. And then you guys probably have seen this if you watched my other video where I decorated my dresser for Christmas time. So I'm really pleased with how this turned out. On my hooks here, I just have this Merry Christmas sign at the top. And then in these little jars, I just put some moss in the bottom with those little trees. And then just have a bauble hanging on the top there. And then this is how I have my dress decorated. I've probably made a couple of little changes since my video on this. I just added these little nutcrackers at the top here as I thought they were really sweet. And then just added a couple of different hanging ornaments over there. And I just thought they looked really pretty kind of reflected in the mirror there. So I thought those were really sweet. And then coming down here, I just have some of those trees, bottle brush trees and some candles. Look, this candle smells amazing. It's the mistletoe pine one. I picked that up from TK Maxx. Over here we just have our baskets for the wood, for the wood burner. My husband makes surfboards um, in his spare time, so we always have a surfboard or two in the home. And then I always have this wreath up on my fireplace. I did add some tiny little red berry picks just to give a little pop of Christmas festiveness to it if you like and then of course our wood burner that we love and have on all the time and then down here we have our chestnuts we roast chestnuts pretty much every night and um, we love those and then we always keep that little kettle on the stove um, to heat our water for tea in the evening and then I've just hung those little stockings for both our boys uh, we need to get name tags actually for them there and then that's just our sofa chair we have next to the fire kind of pan around so you kind of get an idea how it looks and then this side of the room is our dining area so here I just have my ladder in the corner here and I just hung some snowflakes on there and some twinkly lights I just think something about twinkly lights isn't there especially in the winter season just makes you feel really festive and Christmassy and then on my table, I'm hosting Christmas this year for the first time ever, which I'm really excited about. So my table will not stay looking like this, but this is just what I have for now. This is um, an old bottle rack. It's French um, vintage one that you've probably seen if you saw my other um, antique haul. And um, I love this. So I just popped some Christmassy things in there, some red beads and these really pretty snowflake napkins, a little white tree and a silver star hanging there and then I've got this really cute little table runner with some little reindeers and snowflakes and doves on so that looks I thought that looked quite pretty so it's quite simple at the minute but again I will change that up I like to add in a lot of um, holly and berries from outside so I will be placing that on my table at some point and then around here, I just have a Christmas silver star sitting on the chair here. Another one of those little wreaths. I just think they're so, so cute on my mirror there. And then that's my ladder with the snowflakes, a little lantern and Christmas throw blanket. And then coming around from there, I still have my acorn garland up on the window just because <laughs> Well, I've had that up since autumn time, but I just love that. I think it's really cute. 
And then down here, if you saw my other video, which I'll link below if you're interested in, I decorated this tray up, I do for each season. And I just kept it really simple for this season, just adding a lot of natural muted tones. So that is the dining area. And then through from the dining area goes straight into our kitchen on our breakfast area. I just have this tray with a little white house and I picked this little napkin hold up this year and just place, I actually got these napkins from Ikea and little candy cane ones. I just thought they were really sweet sitting next to because I always have like some treats out here for people. So I thought that was, yeah, quite handy to have those there. I have this eucalyptus here all year round, but I just added in some little sparkly white berries. And then over here, I just have a little reindeer and another little bottle brush tree. So it's kind of a practical area <laughs> with a little festive touch. And then coming around here on my tear tray, I just have a couple more little trees, a little silver house. A lot of these things are a little silver house I picked up from a charity shop. A lot of my things are second hand, which I love. And I love this. This is what our cottage looked like that we moved from. Um, and this little house always reminds me of that. Um, so I always have that out kind of all year round. So it's kind of pretty plain and simple, my tear tray. But um, yeah, I kind of like that. So that's what that looks like. And then over here on this wooden slab, I just have some festive um, the cinnamon biscuits in there with a little gingerbread cutter on there. And then I made this a couple of years ago. And I just have a little lantern lit here. I kind of keep my kitchen quite simple as I don't like a great deal of, I know there's quite a lot of that on the counters, but <laughs> I don't like too much in the kitchen when I'm trying to cook obviously and get everything ready. And then up here, I've got another couple of those little mini wreaths. Um, I actually bought a few of these um, this year from, if you're in the UK, Sainsbury's at home. I don't think the light's going to pick up on the little berries, but um, I bought a few of them because they were on 25% off. And I just thought I'm actually going to change up the ribbons and things um, year round. So in the springtime, I'll change the ribbon up and take the red berries out and maybe add some little sprigs of lavender or something in. So I thought that'd be quite a good idea. And then I just have these little bottle brush trees with next to my lantern. So I have one on each end of the windowsill. So again, quite plain and simple, but I quite like that for this year. Coming around here onto my windowsill, I just have a tree sitting in this old um, vintage metal bucket, which I thought looked quite cute. I get that plain again, I don't have any decorations on. This little reindeer, another little bottle brush tree and then I've got this moss wreath which I was going to decorate but I actually just quite like it just left natural like that <laughs> so I just kind of left that hanging there and then I just have another little tree sitting in my scales here and then that's just kind of another view going around from my kitchen into the dining room so I think it feels really cosy in here, especially in the evening time. Um, you know, we've got all the lights on, trendy lights and fire lit. It's just a really cosy place to come and sit and chill. And I love having this open plan kind of area with the kitchen diner because you know, when you have guests over, they can kind of sit and relax by the fire while you're cooking. And then we go from our dining room into our family room and as you can see it's now evening time I've had to do this video in two parts just because of life and kiddos and they woke up from their nap but up here is a really sweet garland that Noah made um, at home he loves doing arts and crafts so we've just got that hanging up here and then over on my bookshelf I just have some more of those little bottle brush trees here Another one of those flock trees, I'll just get bare again with no decorations on. And then this candle is really pretty. As soon as you light it, um, it has like all these sparkles and little um, inbuilt battery lights that come on um, due to the heat of the candle. But it smells amazing and it's really pretty. And then down on this side, I just have another couple of trees. And then above my television, kind of kept it quite simple again. 
and just picked up this garland this year with the berries on which I thought was really pretty and I got that from TK Maxx and then I just put my little glass lanterns on there with small little bottle brush trees stacked on a couple of books just to give it a bit more height um, either side of those candles yeah so that is our tree we always tend to get a real tree um, yeah I just love the smell of it and I love the look of it and I'll try and insert a clip of us um, purchasing our tree and popping it on the top of the car and by the side of it I just have my two chairs and on here I have my advent cushion and I just have my blanket ladder where I just added that red and white striped throw and that is from Ikea and then over here in the crate I just have um, my magazines which I keep there all the time and then in this little um, galvanized bucket I just put another this is a little artificial tree in here and then this garland here um, I just made out of some wool I just braided some wool and tied that around there and I just thought that gave it a nice little rustic handmade touch and another one of those little bottle brush trees and then around the other side of my tree is an old vintage sled we picked up in the summertime off a car boot sale and I love it and I'm going to keep it up kind of after Christmas just have it up sort of all winter time and then I just have my little lanterns on here of course I do not have these lit where my boys are about but they've gone to bed now um so yeah I just think this is so cute originally I was going to hang this up on a wall somewhere but we just didn't end up getting to it so I think it looks, still looks quite nice just sat down there next to the tree and then up here I picked up this wooden tray off of the Facebook marketplace a couple of weeks ago and I'm really pleased with it I just think that it's really pretty there so I just decided to use it here and add some garland this again was from TK Maxx and I really liked it I thought it looked quite natural looking um down behind this chair is just a crate of things for the boys and then they just have another box over there of all Christmas books and then on our chair we just have a reindeer throw blanket and some Christmas pillows. I'll just add a fluffy little, I think it's supposed to be a rug actually, but I just threw it on there to make it a bit more cuddly and cozy. And then round on this table, I just have a little white house in a wicker basket and kind of tying in with the cushions. I found this really cute um, a little red and white basket a couple of years ago from, I believe it was a charity shop actually. So I just popped my eucalyptus in there and then on this sofa again I kind of kept with the same pillows so it all kind of matched and then on our trunk coffee table I just have this old drawer and I've just filled it with real greenery I don't know if you can see there it's just um, holly and berries we just have this sign that I've had for a long time and then I have a little wicker tree and again I just added another one of those little braided wool garlands around it a little white house, some cinnamon sticks in the jar and just some um, real greenery up there I just have a little Merry Christmas banner on my mirror coming round onto here just have another bottle brush tree and a little row of houses lit up with tea lights so that is kind of it for my 2019 Christmas home tour. Again, I apologise for the lighting on this part of the video. Um, yeah, it's just not very great at all. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing how we decorated our home this year for Christmas. Like I've said before in the video, everything is kind of, kind of natural, muted, traditional colours, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a big thumbs up. I hope you're all having a great day and Merry Christmas.